Now with the right of the dragon color, every single time we cast an instant or a sorcery, we're gonna get a 5-5 five, five dragon. A deep cavern bat, that's no problem. So this deep cavern bat is gonna be toasted to an absolute crisp burst lightning. And this is not an ordinary burst lightning. This is a right of the dragon color burst lightning, baby. Let's go, 5-5 five, five dragon, that's why. I got a Chandra flame shaper. Okay, things are shaping out to be very, very good here. That's a copy of our overlord and the overlord We'll deal four. I guess we'll kill the slasher. Um, we do have lethal five. To we we probably have lethal even when we swing in, so it doesn't even really matter here. So cut down. <laughs> oh my god, it doesn't even matter. We have lethal. <laughs> Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse. Welcome back to another episode of Man of Man. And today we've got a juicer for you. So Chandra is back and hotter and better than ever. Let's go ahead and dive right in, baby. Chandra. Okay, so. We're gonna keep things relatively simple today. We got Chandra the Flame Shaper. We're gonna see how good of a big finisher this can kind of be. When I first saw the Chandra, I was like, okay, this is gonna be, well, obviously it's cost seven. It's gonna be in a sort of like big red. I've already got like a million different things we can do with the Chandra. We can put it in some sort of like Grixis control. You can do it like big red, you can do Boros. Right now we're just gonna keep things simple and go in straight in for fire red. So add three red sources, exile the top three cards of your library, choose one, you may play that card this turn. This card basically does everything you could ever want, like a high-end like finisher to do. And I think that's kind of what maybe like big red was kind of lacking here. So. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, except it has haste at the beginning of this end step, you're gonna sacrifice this token. Why does it, well, and then let's just, before we get into that, minus four deals eight damage as you choose among any target of target creatures and or planeswalkers. So eight damage, nothing to sneeze at, and no one else has nothing to sneeze at, this overlord of the boiler builder. So obviously we do kind of like this because it does deal four damage to any target when it enters or attacks so if you notice that with the Chandra, if we can go with the Chandra and the overlord combo, we can take Chandra, and copy it so then the this overlord copy will deal four damage and then because it has haste with chandra it'll also deal another four when it attacks and that is pretty much the best thing that this deck can do um it doesn't happen a whole lot but it, when it does happen and does happen sometimes uh it will go off and it will be an absolute blast to see so and so this is the other new card, Right of the Dragon Collar. Um, I'm, this is a Mythic, and as we all know, Mythic wild cards do not grow on trees. So I only have one in there right now, and it's kind of clunky. When I first, you know, my first impression of this card is like, eh, you know, it's like we're testing it, right? But guess what? It has exceeded my expectations as, like, again, you can control the board. A lot of our stuff, like, is a little bit more controlly. The Forge does kind of act as a win condition in and of itself later on in the game, but you do need that little, like, oomph. You can control the board state as much as you want. You have to have some way to go over the top. So one of these little right of the dragon collars does make um, a lot of sense. And honestly, you could probably kick it up to two. Um, like I said, well, like I said, we're just running for one right now. But uh, I love this card a lot. Every single time you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you're gonna create a five-five dragon with flying. And it, it's a lot more relevant than I would have thought. It really, I'm not just saying that. It actually is. Like any single time you go in for these late, like you know, war crafting, lightning strike, a little bit of you know, whatever. If you cast anything, you get a five-five dragon. Pretty freaking sweet. I'm running four Mirks. I am running four Mirks because sometimes, like, and especially in the early game, we run so much removal in such, like, a fast meta that you do kind of get into trouble with, like, control. Control is, uh, like, kind of gross. You don't, there's not a whole lot of control going on right now, but if you do the four Mirks, there's really no downside in doing so because we're not low to the ground mono red. A lot of mono red is low to the ground. We are not. We're, we're not. We can, well, there's plenty of colorless lands in here, so you can run four Mirks and just feel pretty good about it. And it does win you the game sometimes. Of course, we got Koth. Koth is just very, very good. But let's go ahead and drive into this other card. So, Brotherhood's End is a nice little three. You know, it's not three drop. It costs three. Deal three damage to each creature. Destroy all artifacts with mana value three or less. I do want to run Brotherhood's End because, again, you do see other Urbrask Fours. You do see other, um, well, artifacts. You don't only really see the Simulacrum anymore. But this, sun, this card does literally clean the Simulacrum's clock. But Slagstorm, this can deal three damage to each player. And it's really, really relevant. Because I'm running the Virtue of Courage. The Virtue of Courage is going to deal two damage to any target, which of course is nice. Which kind of acts as like you'll see, kind of light in the uh, the two hole here with only four. But the Virtue of Courage also is basically another two. So Virtue of Courage. But then whenever you drop the actual Courage, you're going to deal non-cam damage to your opponent. You're going to go do that impulse type of draw type of stuff here, and then you're going to dig deeper into your library. Same thing with what we're doing here is Warcrafting. Do a little bit more of that like um, impulse type of stuff here to get access into later stuff. Urbest Forge is a, a win condition to set up. For our Chandra the Flame Shaper, and 
Big Red is just fun, man. It's just it's so there's something really satisfying about winning with a bunch of flames. Just just flames and flames and flames, and not like that quick quick like flame stuff. The quick um you know kill you by turn three flames. This is a slow, a slow burn. That's right. So let's go ahead and give a shout out to the Mana Rocks. The Mana Rocks are the patrons and the YouTube channel members. They do mean the absolute world to me. They do support the channel financially. And like I said, it is my dream to become. I say this every single time, but it's so true. It's my dream to become a full-time content creator. I'm just a freaking loser. I'm just a freaking loser, and I got nothing else to do but make sure that this comes true. I need to make sure I'm a full-time content creator. I don't care if it's in three years. It's going to take a while. I'm still a really small channel, but it is what it is. We're going to continue chasing that dream, and until then, just consider that only you can help protect the Aether with me, so make sure to leave a like on the video. The button looks just like this. Without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Ah, hello. All right, got the burst lightning push tower because, um, as far as I can tell, even with foundations, there is still so much aggro out there that I need to have as much as I can. Plus, with the right of the dragon collar, even if you don't have other stuff, you can just turn your instant sorceries into big dragons, even if they don't have anything. So, again, with the obliterating bolt, looking good. I was actually thinking about instead of obliterating bolt, going in for scorch shot, because I am mono red, so the two red doesn't really hurt that much. Deep cavern bat, eh, whatever. Should I go for Torch of the Tower or Burst Lightning? I guess it doesn't really matter too much here, but I'll just go for Torch of the Tower for now. Because Burst Lightning, we can hit you for the face with the Rise of the Dragon Collar. So let's take a good look. Take a good look at my hand here. I got an Overlord and a Right of the Dragon Collar. But this Right of the Dragon Collar, when I first saw it, I was like, you know, it's cost six. Is, are things just going to remove it really quick? But I don't know. It's kind of impressing me a little bit. Now we got Kellen. Now, Kellen. Kellen is just a good card, so that's the reason why we run a Kellen. I'm not even joking you, like, this card is just insane. I mean, if it's a scout, you can go for two, and then it gives you that, like, kind of impulse draw when it deals combat damage, and then for three after that, you just get a double strike. Like, Kellen, it's just a good card, so that's why I'm running it. Even though this is a little bit more controly, so Preacher of the Schism. This actually is curry out pretty nicely here, so they're tapped out. Let's go for Kellen, make him a detective. We do get a land, so I guess I could impend the Overlord, but I kind of want to see if I can top deck into a land or make use of the Kellen. So I'm actually going to go for the Obliterating Bolt. Let's go for Obliterating Bolt, smash you, get rid of you, and I'm not going to drop my land just in case I top deck into a land. Virtue of... Okay, well, we can at least make use of that, and we only get it this turn. Yeah, this turn, so it's not until the end of the next turn. It's right now, so let's go for the uh, Ember Breath virtue thingy to your face. And now we get to keep the Virtue of Courage. The Virtue of Courage is uh, quite courageous, as it does give us a lot of value later in the game. We got the Kellen. I don't know. I mean, obviously we have to be really scared of a, uh, a Shelly. Shelly gets around all of my... That doesn't. Blood Letter of Alkazos does not. I can tell you that right now. So this thing, can get, I can give this Double Strike, and then I can go for Ball Lightning. So I'm not going to drop my land yet. Let's actually swing in, because if I give it, if I burst lightning on the on the blood letter, this might be a little too cute, but cute is what we aim for, I guess, so. They're letting it go, okay, that's fine. Hopefully we can top deck into a uh, impulse, into a land, let's go, let's go, get a Merix going, and that is pretty nice, so. Now, now we just drop the, or er, impend, or should we actually burst lightning here? Because we can go for the actual uh, right of the, um, the right of the dragon fire. I think I'm gonna impend this because I kind of want to get the right of dragon uh, collar on curve. So it does feel a little weird impending the overlord when you could just hard cast it next turn. But I'm all in on this right of the dragon collar because we are playing against black. They don't really have too many good ways to kind of deal with this enchantment. So I think we're actually looking pretty damn good here. So lightning strike that will fuel up the right of the dragon collar. Let's go right of the dragon collar. Let's go. This card is so sick, man. Every single time you cast an instant sorcery, <laughs> here's a 5-5 five, five dragon. And like I said, if they if we're going against like domain, they may like leyline binding or something. Ooh, slag storm, okay. I was um this is an enchantment. I guess we'll still do this because we could go. Well no, we can't do this, right? Because if they have like the rush of dread, they just kill us immediately. Like I can't do that. No, 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 no. So let's just take what we can get here. Burst lightning, and I'm gonna kick it, baby. Let's kick it old school. Burst lightning right on the dragon collar, and now we just get a 5-5 five, five dragon for absolutely free. 
Come on. I mean, just come on. The things we can do with this is insane. Slagstorm. Slagstorm to me is a could be a little bit better than um, Brotherhood's End, just because it hit your face. Gex's yeah, command. Oh, okay. Get rid of my dragon. That's okay. We've got some more for you. There's Brotherhood's End. Speak of the devil. I think I'm gonna go for the Virtue of Courage. I don't think I really need to do anything else. I obviously this is an enchantment, so. But now the Overlord comes out. We can take the Overlord and, and hit the face, and then do the impulse stuff with the Virtue of Courage. I probably just actually just killed the, the blood letter of Aquasots, honestly. So here's one of the blood letters. Hmm. They only have two mana left open. A bitter triumph is not the end of the world, honestly. So all right, I don't think I want to save the slag storm so that I can hit their face. So if I do Brotherhood's end. Let's do this. Okay, let's, let's make sure that we have enough red. I, I'm, I'm gonna leave one Merix open. Brotherhood's End. You don't see a whole lot of the uh, Simulacrum decks anymore, but here we go. It's gonna hit my own dragon. That's completely fine. Now I'm gonna go for the Lightning Strike and just go for the Blood Player. The reason I'm just doing this is because I don't want that Rush of Dread to just insta kill me while I have two 5 5 dragons out here. And guess what? We're still not done. Every time we do anything, Unstoppable Slasher, it's not that big of a deal. Any single time we cast an instant sorcery, we're gonna get a dragon. So more land, that's actually not that big of a deal. What I can do is actually go for Slagstorm. Well actually if I just swing in, let's just swing in here. If they don't chump, we just win. Ah uh, okay, they thought they thought. They thought they maybe we could sneak in an unstoppable slasher attack, but we're not gonna let them slagstorm deal three damage to each player. And like I said, even if we didn't um have the impulse draw, that's just gonna be a good game anyway, but good game! Alrighty here, so yeah, so this one looks good to me, we're going to keep this. Hello, Taylor Ferguson, how you doing here? Welcome to the show, baby! Alright, I'm going to be a little bit, a little bit honest with you folks. I typically, when I look at spoilers, I typically only look at the rares and mythics. Like, I don't really go through, like, every single tiny mods. Oh, we'll let this go. Yeah, sure, whatever. I guess we can use uh, Warcrafting or maybe even Virtue of Courage at instant speed, I don't know. I kind of want to keep it if I do have the Virtue of Courage. I typically like to keep it just so you can kind of like do the exiling ninth sense with the virtue of courage itself. But going back to what I was saying, I actually only, <laughs> I actually only look up the uh, the rares and mythics mostly, and then I kind of just really briefly scan. And I actually miss burst lightning here, so I think we can probably just go for virtue of courage. Let's not let's not keep the tiny bones around, whatever. I'm not really sure why they didn't attack. It's kind of weird, but I uh, yeah. So the commons and uncommons kind of slip through the cracks a little bit more. So go just pass. I'm kind of playing a staring contest, but it's okay. Unstoppable Slasher. Okay, well, um, it's not too bad here. We go for the Overlord. I mean, like I said, we're kind of just matching the pace here, so. We could go for the Warcrafting and maybe search for a lamb. I think it's a little bit too cute. It's going to just kill the Unstoppable Slasher and then whatever. Unstoppable Slasher is definitely, um, you can stop it. You can stop it. Don't let it fool you with that name. Shelly! Okay, Shelly is definitely not great because we don't get any sort of value out of the work. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Right of the Dragon Caller. That is a pretty sick card, but I think we're not going to play around here. The, sh the problem with the Shelly is I don't get any uh, value from the Warcrafting. So, man, I don't think we need to play the Merrick's down. I could go for the Virtue of Courage, but let's not be too cute here. We, we just, yeah, let's just kill the Shelly, just get it out of here, live to fight another day, and we still got the Ball Lightning, so... Every single turn that our Overlord can impend, we do get closer and closer to bringing it out. Ghost Vacuum? That does not matter. Ghost Vacuum, we don't use the Graveyard. I'm trying to think. I don't think I use the Graveyard at all, right? So this is completely fine with me. Okay. Looking good here. We'll save the Burst Lightning. There's another Overlord. We can just hard cast this Overlord. I'm just trying to think here. Should I go in for the right of the Dragon Caller? Get these dragons online? It's so close. I mean, obviously, we probably shouldn't, but let's go for the Overlord for now. <laughs> All right, so the Unstoppable Slasher is coming back eventually, but we've put that Unstoppable Slasher on the rocks for a long time. Go for the throw on my Overlord. That's completely fine. It's completely fine. Because now our impending... That is really slow, though, man. Those impending count, it does take a while. 
They do have the demolition field. Let's see if they want to hit my mirror. Cause I don't, I don't think they're really that concerned about that. So, all right, another mountain. We so they still have a um, a counter on them. I think we probably just want to set down the. Um, if we go for virtue of courage, it's not enchantment. So we only get this if it's an instant or sorcery. But the right of the dragon collar. Let's go ahead and slam it down. Now the right of the dragon collar, every single time we cast an instant or a sorcery, we're going to get a 5-5 five, five dragon. And guess what? I have... I have got a burst lightning, baby. So, yeah, just whatever. Kind of unfortunate here, but that's alright. And guess what? Guess what? Things are about to get absolutely insane. Alright, so what's the best thing that we can do here? Go for the Virtue of Courage. Then burst lightning. I might just burst lightning their face here, but we're going to get at least... Bare minimum, one five five dragon with this right of the dragon collar. Hopefully they don't do anything super crazy here. A deep cavern bat, that's no problem. So this deep cavern bat is going to be toasted to an absolute crisp burst lightning. And this is not an ordinary burst lightning. This is a right of the dragon collar burst lightning, baby. Let's go. Five five dragon. You don't get anything for your dragon. And now look. Things have only just begun. Just a 5-5 dragon, right? How can that be that scary? Because we're going to get more of them. That's why. I got a Chandra Flame Shaper. Okay, things are shaping out to be very, very good here. So, let's go for the Chandra. This is absolutely insane. I think this is going to be over, right? So, <laughs> Chandra, this is what we came here for. Let's take Chandra. Let's create a token. Let's a copy of our Overlord. And the Overlord will deal four... I guess we'll kill the slasher. Um, wait, do we have lethal? Five, ten, fifth? We, we probably have lethal even when we swing in, so it doesn't even really matter here. So cut down. <laughs> oh my god, it doesn't even matter. We have lethal anyway. Ichigo, 88. Hello, let's go. to going, baby. Burst lightning. Man, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe they made shock. I don't even know. I don't even know. Is shock irrelevant? I think a lot of decks will actually run shock and burst lightning side by side. I am not. I'm still going for the torch to tower, but... I do suspect a lot of them will. Well, can't really do anything right now, but we do got a lot of firepower here. If this is going to be Demir. Demir has such a bad matchup versus the... Oh, okay. So that's what we're playing against, huh? That is definitely a problem. Okay. I have not really played um, against this yet with this deck. I don't know how we're going to fare here. So I guess I'm just going to ball lightning or ball lightning. Nothing about ball lightning. Burst lightning you here. There it is, there it is again. I guess we're going to try. It's our only play here, so... Expecting a counter spell here, but if they go for a counter, I guess that's not going to give me another... Ooh. I guess it's not a poison counter, so... At least now we have some, like, consistent offensive pressure. Because we're going to have to race. Like, there's just no way else to do this. Um, this deck is actually pretty good. I mean, this deck is, like... It's pretty damn good, all things considered. It, it fares pretty well in the meta. As long as you have, like, the removal up which we seemingly do. The only problem here is with the cough and whatnot, like... If they didn't show me a counter spell last time, so I think it's actually... What's faster? Overlord or this cough? Like, what's actually faster and better? I think it's probably just the Overlord. Just deal four straight to the face. Hopefully the four can kind of cover the grounds by then. Plus, they could also just have, like, uh, you know, Shelly's Edict or Vraska's Fall. So, I think we're probably just better off doing this. And honestly, down to 11, like, we're doing pretty good. Okay, so up to three. But you gotta be careful here. Like, whenever you're sitting here thinking, like, oh, we're good. See, exactly. Now we're up to four. <laughs> now we're up to four. I think we probably... We have one more turn, but do we have two more turns? I don't know. I don't know. So we deal three with the forge. Yeah, I don't know. I think... Ah, God. Depending on what they have here. Hmm. The forge is going to deal three. Hmm. So it takes them down to eight. I guess we could... Mirex... Burst Lightning. Cut down. Sure. I think we should go for Cough and then hold up the Burst Lightning here. That seems okay enough. 
Bring the ending isn't the end of the world because now they can't go in for the Merrick's token because this would actually be kind of annoying as well. I'm almost thinking though, should we just sneak in this burst lightning while we can? I guess not. I guess not. Four poison counters. It's going to be close. I'm telling you. I already see how this is ending up. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Five. Five cards in hand. It's nothing to completely sneeze at. It's going to be close. Let's see, this is four. And then five would be nine, eleven. So I think we actually should. I think we should burst lightning here. And then we can go in for Urbass Forge two times. This cough and this right of the Dragon Collar are just going to be a little bit too slow at this point. A Northern Affliction isn't horrendous, I don't believe. Um, if I go for the cough, let's go for cough. If they if they counter it, they can't go for Mirix. And if this resolves, then we can hold Lightning Strike, and then we can Lightning Strike the Mirix to prevent more counters. If need be. Okay. This Overlord, man, we need you. We need you this turn. Like, oh gosh, down to five. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think I actually go for the Lightning Strike here because they could counter it if I'm if not. Hmm. Oh god, it doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel great. I understand that we can go for the forge. That's five plus that's three. That's eight. So like, if they had eight life, I think I would just not. But because they have nine, and I can this makes five, this makes eight. I think we're just better off subduing the toxicity. The tail of Tamio isn't that bad unless they draw, which they do not. That's good. Okay. Virtue of courage. Okay. Now I mean hindsight's twenty twenty, but. I guess we'll just plus two here. Bam. Um, I can't really go for the Ride of the Dragon Collar because I just want to go for the Virtue of Courage. Unfortunately, I love this card so much, but it's not going to be the way. Sacrifices a creature or Planeswalker of their choice. So, I mean, honestly, should I just Mirix here? Sacrifices a creature or Planeswalker of their choice. Right? So, yeah, okay. That's fine. So, I go up to six. Bam. I think we might have this. So, six is nothing to sneeze at here. And then the cough, and we can go for the minus seven on cough. So, oh, okay, now they're drawing. Stop drawing, please. Can they? No, I don't think so. Unless they have some serious draw power in their hand. I don't think they can give us four counters, right? Unless they have, like, augury... Okay. Unless they have augury and then they get like a prologue and then they draw like that kind of stuff. They string together those like draw and give a counter type cards. All right, seven, two cards in hand. So they're gonna need a little bit of a. Oh god. All right. No auguries. No auguries. Oh sh. Uh, that's fine, right? That's fine. No auguries, no prologues. All right, I think we're looking good here. Yeah, hold on, we can actually, no. I, like I said, the fright of the Dragon Collar is just not the move here. Let's go in for Virtue of Courage. Bam. And it is a mountain, let's go! Cough! Fire of resistance. Let's go. We don't even have to use the cost of plus two because we got the minus seven and a mountain straight to your face for lethal. Let's go, Toxic. Let's go. I feel so good beating Toxic. It's a Toxic deck. Like eight cats, bro. All right. Well, usually cats are associated with nine, nine lives and everything. So, all right. I don't know how I feel. I, honestly, the last, uh, I call it the map, whatever mad uh, art environment, whatever the hell you got going on here. Typically, I don't know. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but the Dustmorn one was a lot cooler. This one's okay, I suppose. But the Dustmorn one with like the the game in the middle there was like really really sick. But nevertheless, hey, it's more of a uh, plane, like literally like planes, open planes feel. I, okay. We'll stop blabbing. I'll stop yapping about the uh, the damn planes. 
guess we'll have a little bit of a staring match here. Do you have what? I mean, here's Warcrafting. What are they playing with Boros? So let's say, is this like the um You don't see it nearly as much, but you have like the um the caretaker's talent, the whatever, the, like that kind of stuff here, so. Obviously I'm assuming this is Auras now that we see a mousey. And then you go in for the protection. You know what? Well, that's fine. I'm gonna go for the lightning strike. I know it seems a little bit weird, but it's a little bit more mana efficient. I guess it's, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I get, well, hey, now I feel a little bit better because now we've got three instant spells that we can kind of cast. So the uh, the lightning strike, I think I should have kept it, but I don't think well, there's, there's another torch to tower. Uh, so a little bit of staring match here. Staring contest, but it's okay. Should I have not lightning struck there? I don't think they really have anything with three toughness that I'm really that worried about here, so. I'm, I'm at 20 life here, so I'm gonna go for the overlord. I'm tapping out for this overlord. Eventually, you gotta do something, so. I am a little nervous though, like they, they have like slick shot show off and then just like whatever the hell, but they actually don't at all, so I have no idea why. I'm not complaining, but now I think we're sitting pretty. As long as we got this overlord and pending. Like eight cats, bro. I don't know. I mean, you're gonna take eight turns to do something. I think we're just gonna kill you with the overlord, I suppose. I said we have so many, we have so much removal that it's just gross. Like even if they do, even if they have like protection, like we just don't care. I have so much removal. Will they use removal? No. I, I guess we might as well go for burst lightning, I suppose. I guess that maybe we should go for Torch the Tower just in case we want to hit their face. So, Feather of Flight. Okay. Should I fall lightning you now? I'm just thinking, maybe maybe not though, because plus one, plus zero, then they just draw a card, but this will still get the kill. Nah, let's just play it safe. Let's just play it safe here. I don't know what the hell they got going on here. Feather of Flight, but they, okay, well, that was, that was pretty easy, I guess. Virtual Courage, I don't want to tap out, so I think we'll just kind of wait. The staring contest ensues, I guess. Yeah, sure. Staring contest ensues. Let's see what you got here. Another one. Well, okay. Again, I got so much removal. I just don't care that much. Sheltered by ghosts. Well, sheltered by fire. Good lord. Get out of here, ghosties. No protection whatsoever, and that Shelter by Ghosts gets the hell out of here. Feels amazing. And again, um, I'm going to go for this so that we can go for the Impulse on the Overlord of the Boiler Villages. A little, a little nervous. Not it's just the Slick Shot Show Off. I think Slick Shot Show Off with, like, Monstrous Rage and whatever the hell. Nah, I'm not nervous. I've got 20 life. Like, what can I really be nervous about? Now that we have the Overlord out with the Virtual Courage. Okay, we want to tapped out, so now we're good. I don't even care if you got the, um... Even if you had the worst possible thing, it would just be the shelter by ghosts. And now we're looking good here. So now we've got officially got you in, in, our, in our grasp. There's nothing really I can ever be worried about here. So, all right, I'm going to clear the board. Another overlord. Oh my God. So here's what we're going to do. We're definitely going to be able to find a land with the virtue of courage. So maybe we just go for you. Maybe we'll just make absolute sure. Warcrafting, we'll, we'll dig for two. Oh, well, I do love Chandra, but... Let's go for Virtue of Courage, and when I swing in with the Overlord, let's do this. Let's hit you. When I swing in with the Overlord, the Virtue of Courage is going to let us Impulse Exile four times. So we'll definitely find a land that way. So what in Tarnation? What in Tarnation? There we go. There's a mountain. The game's a good game. Well, the game, yeah, it's not looking pretty good for you, so. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you some spankings. Go ahead and give you some spankings here, and... I don't know, there's nothing, what can ever really be wrong here? Like, give me, you're a go! Wow! I mean, you gave me the, hey, no, no, you gave me the good game. You gave me the good game. I mean, you can, come on now. Hey, if they're just gonna power me up, thank you so much. Like, eight cats, bro, hey, man. They, they understood the assignment here. Just having a little bit of fun. You gotta love it. You gotta love the, it's foundations. Everyone's in a good mood. Let's go ahead and give them this new emote. The little laughy thingy. All right, and let's not hold them off too long here. And a cost just for fun, but they, they give it. GG's. Oh, Chris, hello, Cow Chris. You're about to meet Cough, the fire of resistance. So let's go ahead and keep this. Restless Reef. All right, got enough lands here, but we do need quite a bit of lands, especially with um, all the big stuff that we're running. Don't even drop the cavern bat. All right, okay, we're good. We're good. 
more lands? That is enough land. I would kind of like to see if I can get maybe get a um, something a little cheaper. So quite the staring contest here. Honestly, I don't really mind that a whole lot. I got a lightning strike. All right. I've never lost a staring contest in my life. I'm just kidding. I've lost like every single one. Back in elementary school, people would hit you with that. I never won. I lost like every single time. Duress. Well, it's either I fight. I, I either rip these both off now. No, I don't. So they're gonna take my cost. All right. So I may have lied. I may have. Lied. So we could get a little greedy here and just start ripping them off, but they're gonna take away my cough. That's okay. That's okay. So what I assume. Oh, stop! Stop with the lands, please. All right, we're gonna try. I'm assuming a counter spell is coming, but I don't think I can really just sit here and do nothing, right? Can't sit here and do nothing. All right, so five, six, seven. Got seven lands out of eleven cards. I wouldn't really mind. I am running four mirrors. Four Myrix. Alright. Ass. Things are getting increasingly scary. They do see the burst lightning, so I highly doubt they would go in for like a Rustus Reef or something like that. Come on, Myrix. There we go. I'll take it. I will take it. If we're going to get flooded, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd rather it be something else. But if we're going to get flooded, I'd at least rather have it be a Myrix. Here we go. Alright. Staring Contest kind of nullified here. That's right. A Phyrexian Might every single turn. The Myrix is just so damn good. So you can, yeah, you can cut it down and whatnot, but again, we can just, we can produce one every single turn, so. Overlord. Um. Why not, right? I mean, they've got to be sitting on a counter spell. I mean, like, literally have to be. Maybe that's playing scared a little bit too much, but until, I ha until they can answer the Myrix, I'm pretty okay with doing this. I'm pretty okay with this. I mean, got a Kellen. Restless Reef. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Let's swing in here. See if they want to go with the Restless Reef. I wouldn't think so, but sure. Kellen. This card is so good, man. Kellen the Planner Trailblazer. I mean, Kellen, Kellen is everything. Kellen is like, you know, Naya. It's, you know, whatever. It's everything. So, Rona's Vortex, eh? Oh, they're kicking it, so it becomes, what, in the bottom of my library? That's actually... I mean, I don't love it, but it is what it is. I swear, okay. Can't click the resolve button. All right. So, again, with the Mirix, as long as we have this Mirix going on here, we're looking okay. I'm still a little gun-shy on this Overlord. Not a little. I'm very gun shy on this Overlord. But I think we'll still swing in. Do I want to drop this thing? No. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. I know you've got counter magic, so I'm I'm completely okay with this pace. Getting bored here. Though I will put the pressure on them. I know for a fact that they are they're uh they're kind of sweating here, so got right of the dragon collar. Man, what a freaking card. Still needs to need a little bit more land if they're gonna do this. Eventually they are gonna animate this restless reef. Cut down, that's completely fine. Two cards left in your hand. I am a little tempted to really step on it here and go for the right of the dragon collar, but then we're really left with our pants down. Yeah, I just don't really want to. We're really left with our pants down. I guess we could uh, impend the Overlord. Maybe we should. Hold on. Probably should do that, right? Oh, yeah. I probably should, probably should be over. I uh, should have done that like three turns ago. But it's okay. better late than never, right? Let's go for it. I don't really want to give them the uh, the three steps ahead. Because then they're going to draw. And I, I feel like that's going to uh, step them up here a little bit. Sure. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. So what do we do now? I mean, up to four. We got another Mirix. Hmm. So at a certain point, I'm going to want to start turning on the jets and then just start, like, hitting their face for just straight-up damage. Because this Phyrex, this Phyrex and my stuff, we can, we can kind of rock with this. Treasure map. Wow. I haven't built a treasure map in a hot while. Do I just start striking their face down? 
Doomsday Excruciator. Okay, I don't think we have too much of a choice here at this point, so... Okay, we can't go for, like, for Jace or anything crazy, so let's make the most use of this, right? Hmm. So they got a Restless Reef. I'm not too worried about the Reef just yet. The Reef I can take care of with Burst Lightning. Off. I can then I can kick this for five, so I think that's gonna be the play here. Nine. All right, let's try it out. Cough. Hit the Doomsday. Swing in, and this will be presumably lethal. I guess if they have a what counter spell. Or if they just have a Jace, then we're just cooked. Unless they're planning on the Restless Reef, which I hope they kind of are. Okay. So that's five. All right, let's go for it. They do see this, though. So, I mean, like, they got a counter spell. That is what it is, right? No? Are we good? Um, I got four cards left in my library here. So, I don't even know if I really want to go for this plus two on the cough. Okay, <laughs> take it. That was very scary, but we'll take it. Ray Seek. Seek, how are you doing here? All right, I got Slagstorm action. A little Overlord impending action. Action here. What you got for me here? Mountain into a Swifty. I guess because this is, yeah, let's just go ahead for this. Let's go for the Torture Tower. I got plenty of removal here, but the Prowse is kind of what's scaring me a little bit. So, let's go for Slagstorm. I guess we do kind of operate as a mono red control. But honestly, I think the Boros deck is going to be a huge problem. That is my honest opinion. I guess I might as well just lightning strike here. Let's go ahead and maintain tempo. I don't want to give them any sort of like room to relax. So fortunately, this is not Gruul or Boros. So I don't have to worry about any sort of protection. Because all we need to do is just drop an Urbask Forge. And now we have our win condition is now safely onto the board. Unless they have like a braid, which I highly doubt they'll be running here, so. First lightning, that's no problem. But they do have this Grim Lava running here, as long as there are two or more instead. I can't believe this card came back absolutely wild. I don't think a Mono Red is just gonna be. Mono Red is just here to stay. I mean, this is just absolutely wild. Mono Red is probably the best it's ever been. I guess uh, this is a sorcery, so there's really no point in not impending here. So I'm at 12 life, which is nothing to sneeze at, especially considering that they do have these like ball lightnings here. So, alrighty here, please do not ball lightning me again. I mean, I'll take a few lightning strikes. I'll take a few different things here, but the ball lightning, please do not. Well, speaking of lightning, there's lightning absolutely everywhere because now we got a burst lightning. Let me feel a little bit better here. Yeah, this thing's absolutely nuts, man. Elemental, three reds. Like, what a card. This is like the living embodiment of red. So I did, hey, to be fair, I did say I wanted to see a lightning strike. So I guess I got, I got my wish here. So we also got that wish. Magic shot. Well, let's see if you got a shot versus man to man. Let's go with magic shot. Hold on. My, there's my, my sock is like halfway down my, uh, my heel. That makes no sense to you. It's probably because it doesn't. So let me fix that real quick. All right, there we go. All right, good God. Let me itch up the old back now. Stretch up the old back. Ugh. All right, what was she got for me, Magic Shot? Nothing on turn one, eh? Well, 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 well. Color me surprised. We are not the, they see in these mountains and they just assume that we're gonna go absolutely nuts, but we're not, but we are not. Well, they are gonna take a look at what's in my hand, but it's okay. I have not seen a Johnny one time since Foundations has released. I have not seen a single Johnny deck, and that makes me kind of sad. Maybe we need to set the tone and make a cat deck. So while the opponent is taking a good look at our hand here, we'll hopefully top deck into something we can play, which we do not. But that's okay. We need a decent amount of lands. I am actually thinking about kind of kicking the lands down a little bit, to be honest with you. Because with Koth, we can find these mountains anyway. Let's just be safe here. Try to do this. Sure. 
Alternatively, we could have impended the Overlord, but I want to get down this cough. This cough is definitely uh, a very big pain for most decks. And wait, hold on. Time out, time out. Is this bats? But why are you running blue? Is there something I'm not aware of here? Why are you running blue? Why are you running blue, my friend? This is definitely like life gainy bats. Like, why are you running blue? Essence channel. All right, my guard is up. Like, my guard is up, up. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Guess we'll just do this. Doesn't really matter here. I'm gonna. I guess we'll just impend. Whatever. Man, I don't know. The next turn we can just cast it. That's kind of risky. If they just drop another. What's the odds that they have three deep cavern bat? No, let's just do it. They have blue. Now I'm, now I'm nervous. See, I'm just nervous that they have counter magic now. So I let's just get it down. Let's just get it down. It'll impend. It'll come out eventually. Even though it does suck that we have to impend it. Even though we can just hard cast it next turn. Channeler, sure. I'm waiting for like the um, sheltered by ghosts kind of stuff and <laughs> an actual overlord here, so that is pretty wonderful. I'm not really too worried about this thing. I mean, not really. Not really, right? I can just go in for you. Smash the channeler. Maybe deal with the cleric here in a second. I mean, I don't know. I don't think we're that worried. No, we're not worried at all. 